Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, Adam Ortiz, uh, Director of the Department of Environmental Protection for Montgomery County. I applaud Delegate Charcutian for her leadership on this issue, and we're here in support. Um, as you know, many of you know, uh, Montgomery County and others have a zero waste goal, trying to divert as much material as possible away from landfills and incinerators. In Montgomery County, just like many counties, between 20 and 25% of the total waste stream is food. And as we know, food is actually a resource that can be used again and again if it's processed properly. So from a government perspective, this is a win for a few reasons. Number one, uh, many of us in uh, Montgomery County and in Prince George's, we work with the Maryland Environmental Service to create a, a product called Leaf Grow. We take that food scrap, we mix it with um, yard waste and leaves, and it's a, a product that is sold on the shelves of Home Depot, Lowe's, and other places. So that helps counties break even on their waste management systems. When that material goes to an incinerator, to a landfill, it's a loser. It's a big, big cost on, on the shoulders of taxpayers, and we never get that material back. It's there, it's gone uh, forever. But uh, with composting, we can do it again and again. So it's a win for government trying to balance the books. It's a win for the environment. All of us are talking about climate, um, when food waste and organics go into a landfill, they become methane, which is between 20 and 50 times more potent than carbon. Composting is carbon neutral. It's also win for businesses. So for collection uh, and disposal of food scraps, it is a fraction of the price of having it hauled away and treated as garbage. Um, it's about at least 15, uh, in some cases, 30% cheaper. And as many of you know, I oversaw the construction and the operation of the Prince George's County Organic Composting Facility, the largest in the state. And I'm happy to share any notes on the success of that program. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I see my time is up, but I'm happy to take any questions if there are any.